This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm really excited to have our next guest. He is the CEO, chairman of the company. We're talking no other than Mexican Gold Corp. Well, they trade on the TS. X Venture up there in Canada under the ticker symbol MEX. They also trade down here in the States on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol SRXLF. With us today is Brian Robertson. Brian, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much, Everett. Pleasure to be back. You know, give my listeners a little bit of about statement of, of who you guys are and what you're doing up there in the Great North. Well, Mexican Gold is a junior exploration company and we're focused on precious metals deposits and actually we're not working in the great white north our focus is on mexico and we've been working there for the last six years and we carry out exploration uh for deposits that have the potential to become operating mines one of the reasons why i like inviting ceos of companies up, up in Canada, because, and correct me if I'm wrong, out here in the States, it's kind of pretty much the wild, wild west when they're doing the exploration. You guys have what's called a uh, 43NI101. And so give us the, the latest update of the geology history and the infrastructure of, of your company. Well, our project is in the Veracruz State, Mexico, and it has very exciting geology. And I say that for a number of reasons. Uh, we're exploring a scar and deposit, and the Mexican Geological Survey carried out a study of the area, the core area we're working in back in the 70s. They estimated about 80 million tons of scar in that area. Now, scar deposits are famous in Mexico uh, for large precious metals deposits. If you go to the Guerrero Gold Belt, uh, significant deposits there are owned by major Canadian mining companies. So they are certainly a prime target. Now, in addition to the SCARN deposit that we've been exploring, we also have epithermal vein systems on one of our other concessions. Epithermal vein systems are noted for high-grade gold deposits. Uh, We're seeing some very high-grade numbers on those uh, veins that we're exploring. And we also have had uh, porphyry experts to the site, and uh, they see evidence of a porphyry system at depth, and that's what you would expect to find uh, feeding the SCARN system. So uh, it's a very exciting property in terms of geology. It's got a long history that goes back to the Aztec Empire, and uh, there were 30 operating mines there between 1870 and 1910, Small scale, but direct shipping ore to smelters in Mexico, U.S., and overseas, 20 to 40 grams of gold and up to 15% copper. So these were very high-grade operations, but very focused on uh, what they could see immediately and can mine at that period. And infrastructure is certainly excellent. Uh, We're about 40 minutes from that four-lane toll road that runs from Mexico City to the port of Veracruz. Adjacent to that highway is a railway line servicing that total area. So if we're looking at transportation for concentrate, it certainly couldn't get any better for us. We also have a small hydroelectric plant on the site, and uh, we also have obviously plenty for water. You know, I was reading some of your uh, 8Ks and uh, some of the, the, the 10Qs the last couple of days and looking at your company. You, you guys are in the process of the, the, the drilling programs down there. You, obviously, you've done a, four, a 43 one-on-one on there. And what has those resources uh, estimates, what has the preliminary reports brought back? What is that telling us? Well, basically, we've done uh, 19,500 meters of drilling to date, and about 60% of that's been focused on our El Dorado 1 brand zone, about 35% of it on the Santa Cruz, and 5% on other zones that we know of on the property. And we've just completed a very successful 3,000-meter drill program. We've put out news releases on that 
uh, over the last week or so. Uh, some very exciting results in there. And we are currently working on a 43101 resource estimate. It uh, is being compiled uh, to include the most recent drilling. It's not completed yet. It has not been published. Uh, we expect to publish that report in mid-June. So when you get these reports back and it says everything that you guys thought it was going to say, uh, then what happens is that do we do we factor that out to a company to come to excavate that and bring the ore up? Or are you guys going to do that in-house? No, uh, this report is a maiden 43101 report. So it is the initial 43101 report, and it is focused on two of six zones that we know of. Uh, it's focused on the El Dorado one brand zone, and uh, that zone in our last round of drilling, we expanded the footprint of it. It's still open on strike. It's still open on dip. So there's more drilling to be done on those two zones. We have other zones on the property, uh, five other zones that uh, we've done some exploration drilling on. Uh, we know there's mineralization there. There's historic mining activities, historic mines on those in those areas, um, and just recently we uh, put a hole into what we call the Cinco Sonoras zone. We hit some very high grade material there, and it looks like that Cinco Sonoras zone could be an extension or a duplicate of the El Dorado Juan brand zone. So those areas still need to be drilled. So at this point, we're not anywhere close to defining all of the mineralization of that property. So we now have to go back, do more infill drilling, do more step-out drilling, look at these other zones to really evaluate the total potential of that property. At that point, uh, when we're at a final 43101 resource, that's when you would move forward with pre-feasibilities, feasibility studies, and construction of a mine. And would we do that in-house, or would we, again, outsource that? No, we we are uh, we will do the drilling in house and the expanding expansion of the resource. We are an exploration company, and we're focused on exploration because we believe that we can add maximum value for our shareholders through discovery and definition of a resource that will move forward to become an operating mine. The mining space is totally different from the exploration space. I've worked on both sides, and the mining space requires a totally different skill set and has different risks that go with it. So we believe our expertise is on the exploration side, moving this property for, forward to a bio by a major mining company is what would add most value for our shareholders. So after we get the preliminary reports back and we're starting to mine it, when do you think that some of the assets will fall on the balance sheet, bringing the ore up out of the ground? Oh, that time frame really depends on the, the size of the deposit, uh, permitting process, and mine construction process. Uh, at, at this stage, we have not defined the size of this uh, deposit that we're working on, two of six. So uh, there's you know, significant time frame to complete all of the exploration on the property. Uh, that does not mean uh, a senior company would become very interested in the property prior to completion of a 43101 or even shortly afterwards or prior to construction of a mine. My guest today is Brian Robertson, and he is the uh, CEO and President and Chairman of Mexican Gold Corp. While they trade on the uh, TXX Venture uh, on the uh, ticker symbol of MEX, they also trade here on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol SRXLF. The Cinco Sonoras and the uh, Pablo uh, Nuvo and other zones, can you give us any updates on, on those properties? Well, the Pueblo Nuevo is a very exciting zone. We just acquired that uh, concession. We have 100% ownership of it, uh, and we put out a press release on that. Uh, we have done sampling on that concession. There are several vein systems there, anywhere up to 100 meters in length uh, on strike, 
and over 100 meters in depth. One of the historic mines there, uh, La Maqueta mine, has 22 known levels on it. Uh, this is a narrow vein, epifermal vein system. Some very high grade numbers in our sampling. At uh, one of our recent sampling programs, uh, we sampled uh, 15.98 grams per ton gold equivalent over two meters, some very high grade material there. We uh, just have completed a, a recent sampling program. We still have assays results come back in, but this area was mined historically as a high grade epipermal vein system. So we expect to see some very high grade values coming out of there. Um, we also uh, required the La Luz concession, which is adjacent to our main concessions at Las Minas. Uh, we see mineralization on those concessions, uh, some historic workings. We have not done extensive work there. We need to look at that more closely, do mapping and sampling. So both of those concessions are, are very exciting and we're certainly pleased to be able to acquire those. You know, a lot of the small companies that trade on the TSX Venture usually have, you know, a little bit of financial difficulties or they got constantly raising money. How is your balance sheet? Is it, We're looking good to doing all these projects? Our balance sheet is, is very good. Uh, we've just completed a financing uh, we're just wrapping that up this week, and uh, that financing was for 5 million units at 30 cents, so that'll put about 1.5, 1.8 million into the Treasury. So we're in very good shape financially. My guest today is Brian Robertson, and he is the uh, CEO and president of Mexican Gold Corp. And they've got a, really a lot going on uh, in their properties in, in, in Mexico. Uh, they also trade on the TSX Venture. You can look them up at the ticker symbol MEX. Also on the OTC market, you can find them with the ticker symbol SRXLF. In closing here, Brian, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to talk about that you would like to get out to my listeners? Well, I think it's a very exciting project, and um, it's been somewhat delayed by a poor financial market in the last couple of years, but uh, now we we have the funds to move the project forward. Uh, we're doing a number of work programs. We got a 43101 report coming out. There will be more drilling news coming out. So uh, I think it's uh, it'll be a very exciting year for us. Well, I really do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule as the chairman of the company and coming on the show. I wish you nothing but continued success. Hopefully you'll come back on here in 40 or 50 days and give us an update. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to uh, do the show and uh, talk about our Las Minas project. Thanks a lot, Brian. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye now. The following program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire LLC, which is responsible for the following content. The opinions and information provided on today's show are those of the guests and of those of the respective companies they represent, and does not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of this station. Uptick Network encourages all listeners of the show to do their own due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that'll work for them, or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of today's show may have paid to appear on the show and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Network or this station.